Well, YouTube, welcome to my first beer review. My cold is finally gone, and I'm finally going to be able to taste and smell the beer. Finally. I'm excited. So this will be my first review, um, and I'm going to do, of course, my favorite style, an IPA. So the first one I have today is from the Brew Kettle, which is in, in Ohio, and they just started bottling b this beer. It's called the White Raja IPA, and this is the, uh, the first, um, actually the third, I think the second or third bottling of this beer. It originally came out in September, and then it's got a lot of hype since it came out, so I'm pretty excited to try it. It got a gold medal and a best in show at the Interna International Beer Fest in Cleveland, which was this past year's um, International Beer Fest. So I'm pretty excited to try it. Um, so let's get this thing get this thing poured and see how it uh, looks and smells. All right, just finished pouring the beer. Here it is in the glass. I'm um, not sure if you can see it, but um, it's got a very orange color. It's almost just orange. Usually there's a copper color to an IPA and that's not getting that here. It's it's basically orange and it's very clear. You can almost see straight through it. There's some yeah you can pretty much see straight through this beer. The head was pretty big when I poured it maybe uh, to one or two fingers which was pretty good um, and you, as you can see it's still kind of sticking around there a little bit um, you know not sure if you can see that, but the color of the beer is really nice. I'm going to read you the description real quick before we actually get to the smell. So uh, here's the description from the bottle. A West Coast style IPA full of citrus-like and tropical fruit-like hop flavor and aroma with an assertive, an assertive yet smooth bitter, bitter finish. Malt, take a back seat please. And it's 6.8% alcohol by volume and it's 70 IBUs. So they've been serving it. Um, but they actually just bottled it recently, like I said at the beginning. So let's give it a smell and see what we got. Wow. <laughs> I mean, this is almost, it smells similar to Hop Slam. I'm sure most of you had a Bell's Hop Slam comes out in January, but this beer, I mean, it's stronger than that. The smell is amazing. I mean, you're just getting not too much pine. Like I said, the tropical and citrus uh, flavor and smell of hops. The smell is a straight citrus. Very tropical, too. Maybe a hint of pine and a hint of malt, but it's really just the tropical fruit, you know, citrus hops is what I'm getting. Uh, that's about all I'm getting, too. So uh, let's give it a taste. Well, taste is great too. Definitely lives up to the smell. Hits you pretty bitter on the tongue right away. And you can tell it's gonna be bitter all the way through. So even on, you know, even leaving a bitter taste in your tongue after you've drank, you know, took a drink or two. And it's all hops. I mean there's a slight hint of malt, but it's it's pretty much all hops. Yeah, maybe a touch of sweet malt. Um, if you really try, really try to find it in there, definitely just a touch though, not, not a huge amount, and it's, it's very smooth for, for the amount of hops that are in this beer, it's it drinks very smooth. I would say that the taste is actually, not as strong as the smell. The smell thinks, makes you think as soon as you drink the beer, it's going to be just going to blow your taste buds away and you're not going to be able to taste anything and it's all you're going to get is just this beautiful hop taste but really the smell is a lot a lot more prevalent than the taste I'd say the smell doesn't it depicts the taste but the taste is definitely not as strong as the smell a very good beer though and I'd say the mouthfeel is mm, it's, besides leaving the bitterness on your tongue this beer drinks really smooth um, it doesn't 
you know, it's not a porter or a stout, so it's, you know, it's meant, meant to be lighter, but it's not hazy, and it just, it drinks really well. So, overall, I would probably give this beer, mm, probably an A-, minus, um, just because the taste isn't what I thought it was going to be after the smell. I knew it was going to be, it's good, but it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. It's... It, the smell is definitely an A+, plus, um, but the taste kind of falls back uh, a little bit from that. It's, it's more of your, uh, not standard IPA, but, you know, not, not as strong as a Hop Slam or maybe a Flower Power or something like that. But it's still a very, very good beer. And I love that they're, the malt, you can hardly taste the malt, because I love IPAs and hoppy beers. So, I hate when I can taste the malt in beers, like... Dogfish one or uh, Dogfish ninety minute IPA. I'm not a big fan of that. And right here I have Dogfish one twenty. I wasn't expecting an IPA when I drank that. I liked it, um, but the malt was just overpowering. So not a big fan of IPAs that have a big malt backbone in them compared to the hops. I want straight hops, and that's what this is. I mean, it's a great beer. Um, the taste is the taste is good. The smell is great, and I mean it's it's very drinkable. At least the bitterness on your tongue might make it not as drinkable um, as you would think, but it's still a really good beer. Um, what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna rate my beers, is um, an A, B, C, D, and F scale. Um, I'll post. Uh, you'll see the numbers towards the end of the video and how I'm gonna rate it. So, uh, you know. There's not too much space in between. I'll, I'll say an A minus, but then you'll get the actual numbers. Um, I'm just thinking. I review all my beers on Beer Advocate, and I'm kind of basing my scale off of what they have. You know, smell, taste, um, or appearance, smell, taste, mouth feel, and uh, overall. So, um, you know, I'm gonna cover it that way, and give it an give it an A, B, C, D, or an F. And then give you some some extra information about it to try you know give you more information about the beer. Now this one from Brew Kettle, I'm pretty sure you can get it outside of Ohio. I'm not sure if you can get this beer outside of Ohio. Most all of their beer, I'm pretty sure, has been in uh, 22 ounce bottles until this beer. I'm not positive, but that's that's what I'm uh, that's what I think. So basically, I'm pretty sure they distribute outside of Ohio with the bombers, the 22 ounce beers. And this one, I'm pretty sure, is right now is in Ohio. Um, I'm not sure if they distribute Ohio. So I'm not sure for sure if they distribute outside of Ohio, but uh, um, I'm most likely I'm pretty sure they do. They make some good beer. I've had a couple other um, versions of their beer, the uh, Four Seas uh, Pale Ale, and I think it's the Old 21. I think that's an Imperial IPA, and both have been good. Uh, and, and this this is probably the best beer I've had from them, though. This being able to get this year round would be awesome. Right now, the hype I think is, and as much as they can brew, um, you know, it's hitting the shelves and it's not there for long. I got there and I think I picked up the third to last six pack of the beer, and he told me, you know, they'll get it and it'll go quick, not even a couple days, and it'll be gone. So it's a really good beer. Um, would I recommend buying it? Yes. If you live in Ohio and you find it and it's fresh, I would buy it because, I mean, it's a good IPA. It's it's up there with some of the best. You know, um, the only reason the A minus is because it tastes. When you smell this beer, you're gonna think A plus. Yeah, I mean the, the the taste is great and the smell is good. It's it's a beer that I would drink all the time. Uh, you know, if I could, and I think it cost me. It was ten ninety nine for a six pack, um, at six point eight percent, which. I really don't think it's that bad. That's, you know, Flower Power, I think, is $10.99. Um, Hop Slam's an Imperial. That cost me $18. But for $10.99, it's really not, that's not a bad price for um, a beer that's this good. You know, it, it's, it's a great beer, and I would recommend buying it. So, guys, that's my first review. Uh, comment and rate and subscribe. Tell me uh, if you've had this beer. Um, and tell me what you think of it. Um, and then I'll, I'll check it out. I'll comment back. And, uh, you know, tell your friends about the beer reviews. I'm trying to get this page going and started and get a bunch of good reviews for you guys. Um, and if anyone wants to set up some trades, if you see a beer that I review that you think you might want to try and you can't get it, I'm definitely willing to set up trades to, uh, you know, trade some beer with you guys. So, for now, this has been good. Cheers.